Hello everyone, welcome to the part number 5 of this uh, milestone number 4. So what we're going to do for today, it's now we can choose a photo and enter some caption, but uh, we don't upload any photo yet. So, <laughs> so this is what we're going to do finally. So what I want, it's when I start to type here, I want, uh, not when I start to type, but I mean when I came to this page, I want to have a share button right there. And what I want is if I click here, I want to upload this image to uh, Amazon uh, S3 bucket. So the plan is you, we need to fetch the server, a server, for getting the uh, S3, um, you remember, this present URL we have here. After that, we're gonna get this upload URL where we're gonna push the photo uh, from uh, XML request. And after that, what are we gonna do? It's uh, uh, we're gonna see if that works for now. And uh, for the next episode, we're gonna just push that to uh, the database and the server. So what are we gonna do first? It's go inside your screen, caption screen index. And now right there, what are we gonna do? It's first thing, we're gonna uh, upload like this next button. So right there, we're gonna do this, that props, that navigator, that set button. And right there, we're gonna say right button to be an array of where someone gonna have an ID here, share post. Then we're gonna say title of share, just to get this share um, uh, text finally. And here we can say animated to be true, right there, okay? So now if I uh, refresh my screen, what's gonna happen? It's if I click, you're gonna see share happen right there. Um, what I think also, it's when we push right there, you can also pass that, but I think it's gonna be just simpler to get that right there. So now what we can do here, it's after that we need to uh, bind this stuff and having a function. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna have a function called share post. Like that. And here you can also say share, uh, maybe it's, a fun it's an action, so we can say on share post press, like that. And now what do we want? It's inside the constructor. So we're gonna put the constructor, super props. And we're gonna do like we did on the other uh, episode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this line of code right there in the create photo screen where we bind the navigator even. Here I'm gonna just say this, that state, and I'm gonna take this round, uh, right there. And now I'm gonna create this function on navigator uh, even. So if you remember this one, get a, an even, and not an even, but uh, yeah, I think it's even here. And now here they do, uh, we do, if e that type equal equal nav bow button press, and if e that id equal, and now the id of the button, so share post, here what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna call the this dot on sharp post press, right there, okay? So now just for seeing it work, we're gonna put the console log hello, and I'm gonna take my React Native Debugger right there, and I'm gonna make it a bit, ooh, not that much, but like that. I'm gonna uh, clear it. And now if I click on my next, uh, on my share button, we're supposed to see hello every time I click. Perfect, this is what we want. Now what we want, it's we want to create the query, so the same query we have right there, okay? So now what we can do for that, it's we're gonna import GQL from GraphQL tag, and we're gonna create that right there. We're gonna say cons S3, uh, sign S3 um, like that, query, equal GQL, it's gonna be a query, and now you know what? Why not just copy and paste this pre-sign URL right there? So pre-sign URL, URL, and upload URL. This is what we want. And now, how can we call not from the component in mod? Because if you put that inside a GraphQL uh, I order component right there, we're gonna get that as the component in mod. Uh, how I find it, it's uh, we're gonna use something called with Apollo coming from React Apollo. And this one, I'm gonna show you something. This one, when you wrap your component like that and you console log your props, my props, this that props, look what's gonna happen. We're gonna see inside that. We're gonna see, after I click next, my props, where now we get have access to the client and the client have something called query. 
So now this is what we can do. So now what we can do right there, it's called uh, the, the query by doing this that props that client dot query where here you can pass a query and you can pass your sign S3 query like that. Okay. But this thing is going to be an asynchronous call. So we can put async, saying const res, uh, res equal await this value. Okay. And now I'm going to put this next to the hello. Or I can just say res like that. Okay. So now if everything is work, when I'm going to click on share, we are supposed to see the uh, mutation coming in from the server. So what we're going to do first, it's have my server running. I'm going to click share. And you see we get that and look, boom, that's it. So you see it's pretty fast also. So if I click, I get that right away. I love Phoenix. <laughs> uh, so now we have the pre URL. So you see we get that as the res, that data, that pre URL, upload URL and blah, blah, blah. So now we have all the stuff. But now how can we upload this stuff? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new util called uploadimage.js, okay? And now uh, be ready to code. <laughs> We're going to have at least, I think, almost like 35, 40 line of code, maybe less. And now here, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a function called. Um, so that's going to be an async function called uh, upload image. OK. And we're going to have another function we're going we're gonna to export and it's going to be called upload image to S3. And yeah, I mean, we can do the same here. It just uh, cons equal and async. Uh, oops, async like that. And I missed the arrow. Yeah, just to keep it uh, simple. Okay. So we have two functions here, both going to be asynchronous. Okay. Now, what I want, okay, so we're going to go. Uh, oh, I don't know how you say that in English, but back forward, like, I mean, we're going to go, uh, we're going to start from the end and go to the bottom. So what we need is this function here is going to be the function we're going to call inside the caption screen. OK, so my plan here, it's when I call the caption screen, I want to pass my um, oh, upload URL. And uh, what I also want to upload is the image. So I want to push the image first and after that, I upload the URL. So this function here going to receive two things, the image and the sign S3 object. So this full object we get when we click next. OK, so this full object right there. So now what we're going to do with that. It's this thing here. We're going to await the upload image function we're going to create. OK. And finally, my plan is to return right there the image because the URL is going to stay uh, the same. So if you want to, to show this one, but also we're going to have the remote URL who's going to be equal to the sign URL, that URL. So that's going to be this URL right there. I don't know if you follow what I mean. It's like because if you upload an image to the web, OK, uh, to the S3, the time you go there and you uh, fetch it with React Native, you gonna have some kind of uh, blank screen. So that's why here we just want to return the image. So the thing here, this image, okay, this image equal the image inside the local phone. Okay, so it's already there. So that's why I want to use it again. Okay. <clears throat> so now I think it's going to be time to work. So now this function here, going to receive uh, Three argument, the method, a URL and a file. Okay. And this method here, we're going to return a new promises where here we receive resolve and reject like every other promises you have surely build. And now right there, this is where we're going to do some kind of magic. So for those who don't know XML requests, I will really, uh, I would like you to read this stuff here. It's a, it's a, finally, it's a way to send some kind of, uh, of uh, data finally and it can be good for sending file and thing like that and um, this is the way i like to send my image so uh, here what we do is we're going to create a new instance of that so we're going to call that xhr equal new xml request now what we're going to do is it's hr that open okay 
So this open method right there, you need to receive uh, the method. It need to receive a URL like that. After that, you see, this is all you need to start to read this stuff. I think about doing like a flow type in the TypeScript tutorial or something like that. I think I have already a flow type one, but more deep. It's when they say async uh, slash uh, with a, uh, uh, this interrogation point. That means this thing can be undefined. That, so that means you don't need to pass them. That's it. But when not like that, uh, you need. So now this way, I'm going to say each H, uh, X H R dot set request header so we're gonna set the request header and now we're gonna say content type it's gonna be equal to the file that type so the file that type we're gonna uh, push so that's gonna be image at jpeg so almost what we done on uh, postman and now here we're gonna see in a new line unload okay so this thing it's when uh, the event start so it's an arrow function like that and now here we can say if each HR dot status, so we know now it's it's uh, finished, okay? We're gonna say if the status it's not equal to 200. Here now we can reject the premises with a new error where we can say finally request fail. We can say status. And now here inside each HR, uh, X H R we have status, and we can see maybe like content. And now here I will say X H R dot response text, just to give us a way to debug if you get an error. Okay, so now outside of the if here, now we know that work, so we can resolve the result with the premises with each H R X H R response that text again. And finally, we can send the file right there. Okay, a lot of code, but yeah. <laughs> so now, uh, now what we can do for the, with this stuff, okay, is going to be to put here the method. So that's going to be a put request because remember, the URL is already created. So finally, Amazon create the URL and wait you to push the data you have inside that. So it's a put request. It's not a post. So. So here we're going to put that and now here for the URL, we know we're going to get that from the uh, sign S3 dot upload URL. So this thing right there, so upload URL. And for the file, we're going to have a URE of image, so the image E. And we're going to have a type, so the type we're going to have right there, image.jpg. Okay. A lot of code, but trust me, <laughs> I mean, it's a really nice one. I mean, you don't put your credential in the front end. That's it. Just some kind of request. And now here, what we're going to do, okay? It's now we're going to import from my util folder, upload image. And the one we want to upload is the upload image S3, okay? First thing, I'm going to show you my bucket right there. I have only... Two image so this is the two image we have practice in postman and now what i can do with that it's uh inside my um my uh, share post here now because we know we have the res so now what we can do here it's we're gonna create a new result from s3 like that result from s3 and now we're gonna say await upload image to s3 and now remember we need the image and the sign S3 right there. So for the image, that's going to be the same value of the image right there we have put. Like that. And now here, for the for the, 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 the data, you need to remember then we're going to receive res.data.presignurl. So res.data.presignurl. Like that. Okay. And now if I log my result from S3, like that and we try it uh, like that okay i'm gonna make it a bit smaller so now i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna share and now look what's gonna happen take some time boom we get a result right there and now you see we get a remote url okay so if i copy paste this 
uh, remote URL right there. And I remove the quote. If I click enter, boom, I have my image. And now if I refresh right there, I'm going to have my image right there. So now if you want to retest again, you can maybe say I want to send this one and I'm going to click share. Inside my debugger now, I'm going to receive a new one. Uh, not a new one. One sec, it's right there. Remote URL, paste that right there. Boom, boom. And now we get the brand new image. And now here we are supposed to have four image. I don't know why not showing. Uh, C5. Do we get the same? Yeah, pretty uh, strange here. We get the same uh, URL back when we call. So this is what I think happened is the share we get already the result. So uh, if you want to test again, I'm going to just refresh. But don't worry, we're going to just push uh, the user back when he have finished the share. So now we are supposed to receive a new image right there. And now this one is not supposed to look the same. So, so now if I paste this one. Now I get this one, and now if I refresh here, now I'm gonna get four. Perfect. So you see, that's why we're gonna push back the user to the uh, the photo um, to the photo uh, screen. So that's it for this one. So for the the next one, we're gonna uh, let the user write a caption, share when all the stuff we just did it's done. We push the DB. When the DB confirm, we close this model. And that's it uh, for this uh, kind of feature. We're going to add the tag after that. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little episode. And we're going to talk in the next one. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.